Really good toast. And sync sound and rolling. Okay. Clap. Thank you. Thank you. And looking towards Howard, sir, and cameras are rolling. Sit up a little. Right. Attaboy. <clears throat> now my frame is gone. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're slouching. Come on. And camera rolling. All right, for the editor, let's start with uh, your name, spelling. Sure. Uh, full name is uh, Christopher J. Hillsden. C H R I S T O P H E R J A Y H I L L L S D E N. Okay. And Chris, where are we today? Uh, just outside of Kualakam Beach on Vancouver Island. Okay, remember what I told you earlier, right? Oh, sorry. Where are yeah. we? <clears throat> and okay. go again. Ask the question. Oh, okay. Chris, where are we today? Well, today we are uh, in beautiful British Columbia, Vancouver Island, and located in Qualicum Beach. Oh, very nicely done. And you've been here, or pardon me, your family has been in this area for multiple generations. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, our family has uh, been in this area since 1967. And in all that time, as far as the Ram brand is concerned, and of course started out as a Dodge, but the last 10 yes. years is the Ram brand. You've had an entire family affair. What was the very first Ram truck that you remember, even as a child? So the very first Ram truck uh, that came into this family was a 1993 uh, three-quarter ton four-wheel drive, extended cab long box, Cummins of course, um, and that came in. It was, uh, it was the very last 93 left on the lot that my dad bought and came to us in the very beginning stages of 1994. And just hold on, stand by, we'll wait for that big truck, that BMT <clears throat> to pass. <coughs> Camera rolling. So your very first truck, and it was a Cummins power truck, and of course Cummins has had a very long relationship with Dodge, and then of course with Ram today. So you've had that truck, Obviously, you weren't driving that truck. You were a little kid in that truck, yeah. right? Your dad yeah. was driving that truck. What kind of business was he in that he needed a truck like that? He owns an excavating company, and uh, for moving his equipment around, uh, it, was, it was necessary to have a truck like that. Previous to that was a Chevy one-ton uh, flat deck that uh, it was basically tired and done, and he needed to step into something that was more capable. Um, so that's where the Dodge came into play. So how many years did that 93 <clears throat> serve your dad's company? Uh, so he got it 94 and I bought it from him the beginning of 2007. So it worked the entire time for him doing that. And I bought it at 350,000 kilometers and he bought it brand new. So. And how many more K did you put on it before you finally traded it? I finally had to get rid of it uh, three years ago and it was at 477,000 uh, when it left here and drove off on its own and it's still going as far as I know. So the tailgate you're sitting on right now is what year of uh, Ram? So the truck that I have now, this is a 2003 Ram, and it's a 5.9 Cummins, uh, six-speed manual, uh, Laramie Sport uh, Dually, four-wheel drive. And in your family, apparently your cousins also own Rams, is that correct? That's also correct. Also diesel Rams? Yes, both are. Uh, my youngest cousin has an 07 5.9 Cummins, six-speed manual, four-wheel drive. Uh, my older cousin, he has a 2001 and it's a six-speed manual, quad cab, four-wheel drive. So, yeah, we're all kind of addicted. And, you know, we're always talking about brand loyalty when it comes to trucks. Um, my thought has always been is that a guy loves his truck because it does what it's supposed to do. And I, I'm just guessing, and I want your opinion on this, is that when you've got 30 years worth of Rams in your family uh, across several members, it must be because they did what they were supposed to do. Yeah, the trucks have. They're, they're a loyal truck and we've been loyal to them. They've always treated us well. They've performed as they're supposed to. They've been extremely dependable. You know, they've never left us stranded or anything. So it's, it's continued that way. They're a solid platform. The Cummins is undeniable. And that's what we've always run. And in addition to that, uh, you're not just using them as a grocery getter. <coughs> I understand you have a, you have a fifth wheel trailer. Yes, I have a fifth wheel trader. So it, it, this particular truck gets utilized for a lot of different things. Uh, it's move campers, fifth wheel traders. I have a small equipment trader, uh, towed equipment with that. I have race cars that I tow. Um, so it does that and it does do the odd grocery run, pick up the kids and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a multi-use truck, um, but incredibly comfortable is the, the size of it and for what it is. So it's nice to take even just long trips if you have to, right? 
And, and speaking specifically about the Cummins, you've got a long history with the Cummins. Of course, you have more experience than, than a lot of guys. And somebody might even say to you, it's overkill. <clears throat> you, you really don't need that. You, you could go with the gas engine. But what's your feeling on just having that Cummins? Well, yeah, you, you could maybe go to a gas engine, but I, I feel more confident with this. This is something that you can put through more extremes. You can put it through high mileage, and it's efficient. And there's a big name to efficiency, right? So a truck of this size and this weight, I can still get really good mileage going down the highway, and I have no concerns. I can hook up the trader if I want and have zero concerns going up any hill and going down any hill, knowing what I have. Have you been tempted to either look at or buy one of the competing brands? Has there been something out there that caught your eye over the years and you went, geez, I really ought to go look at that? Mm, yeah, the competitive brands really don't interest me. They, uh, they create employment for me, but not something I would personally own. So, Because speaking of that, you are a mechanic by trade. Yes, I am a mechanic by trade, yeah. And you're working on these other trucks? Yes, I am, yeah. Is it safe to say you don't work <clears throat> on too many Rams? Don't work on too many Rams? No, nope. if, if a round comes in, it's usually something quite trivial or quite small that comes in for nothing, uh, nothing significant that I've really found. Just hold on a second. Camera's still rolling. Can we use the cardboard now, Ed? Yeah. Maybe you can just stand with it right here. <coughs> just starting oh, to come in. It. Sure. Is it just a little Coming bit in. too dappled? Yeah, totally. Totally. Don't fall down, Ed. No insurance. Tell me when it's there. Yeah, keep going up. You got it. You might have to even come in closer. I think you got to get closer. Hold on. You don't need my ass in that. Okay? No. <laughs> and if I do, I'll, I'll make sure it's composed nicely. <laughs> that, yeah, that makes you. a difference. Camera's yeah, that's rolling. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said I'm stunning. Yeah. Here we go. Stand by, everyone. Okay. And we're still rolling. And Q Howard. Chris, every truck guy has got a story. He's got a story that he's related to his buddies, and it usually comes somewhere around, I didn't think I could move it, I didn't think I'd get through it, I didn't think I'd get out of it, um, but the truck did the job. Have you got a story that you can relate to us? Uh, well, one that probably sticks out uh, with the first truck that we had, uh, my dad's first truck. Um, there was a semi-truck, uh, gravel truck, pup and trailer that had been stuck uh, unloading its uh, load and had dumped the trailer, but the truck was still loaded. Uh, with 12, 14 yards of gravel on board, so it was a pretty heavy load, and stuck into the mud, and with all of his might, he couldn't get out. Uh, so the suggestion was, let's dodge to it, and you know, try to pull this thing out. And the first thought was, no way. The, you look at the weight comparisons, there's no way that this could do it. Um, it'd just be silly, you know, call it a tow truck. But thought, let's try it and see what happens. So sure enough, hook the chains to the front of this Kenworth uh, from the back of the little Dodge, and put it in the four-wheel low, started to apply the throttle and between that when the gravel truck tried the whole thing popped right up out of the mud back up onto the road surface and it was out we were absolutely floored that the truck had that much grunt that was at that point that was a really big turning point to really see what the truck was capable of that's uh, something you, you i'm sure was amazing at the time and you'll remember the rest of your life oh absolutely yeah it was something else it's great i'm good right this second i got a question <clears throat> okay um Tell me how long you've been a volunteer firefighter and you've got a red truck. Is that your fire truck? Uh, I've been in the fire service. Oh, okay. So I've, I've been in the fire service for 20 years uh, this coming November. Um, and yeah, the truck is red, kind of goes with the fire trucks. It's definitely one of my favorite colors. So when this thing uh, came up for sale and I spot it, it was definitely something that really caught my eye. And this is an 03. Yes, this is, is this your new truck, so to speak. <laughs> this is my new truck, yeah, with three hundred eighty thousand kilometers on it. Uh, are you are you in the market, or is this going to do you for a while? I think this will do me for quite some time. It uh, it moves what I need. It's it's crazy comfortable, um, and the manual transmission that's in there. I don't think I could have it any other way. I really really like that trans. You're at a party. You're talking <clears throat> trucks with some other people. They might have another brand in mind. Why would you promote the Ram brand? I would promote the Ram brand just simply based just on the amount of... Start off with saying, if I was at a party... So if I was at a party and we were having a debate on which is the better of the brands and why I would promote the Ram brand, um, it's just simply based the amount of miles that I've seen on these trucks, the amount of miles I've put on these trucks, and the dependability that comes with it. Um, 
I always look at the big highway market trucks, you know, what they're pulling, the freight trucks. Pretty much everyone out there is an inline six design engine. Cummins falls back on the inline six design, and, and I truly believe that that's probably one of the best ways to create uh, bottom and low end torque. Well said. You're done? Yeah. Excellent. I'm okay.